Josh from Builder here. And in this video, we're going to go over the Builder data collections. If you don't know, Builder has data collections built right into your studio. You can store data to connect to your app. You can store data to keep track of analytics. And you can use that data throughout your application to deliver the experience that you want, whatever that is, from audio files to photos to text to any type of data that you need to store, you can save it in a Builder data collection. For the technical folks out there, Builder is built fundamentally on a NoSQL relational database structure. We'll talk about data collection relationships in another video. This video in particular will go over the default data collections that will exist in all of your projects, how to create your own data collection, and then how to add custom fields to those data collections so that you can use them the way that you need to. To access your Builder data collections, go over to our Projects tab in any Builder project that you have open. And the second option you'll see is Data Collections. If we select that, your options will pop up for you right away. Now, I used a template to open this project. So you'll see task statuses and tasks here. That's because of the template automatically created the databases as well as the data in them to power this pattern. The default records that will exist in every single project that you have in Builder is record association and users. Those two collections do a couple of unique things. And so Builder pre-builds them for you so you don't have to worry about setting that logic up. The first is users. User collections help secure your application, your data, and the specific data that belongs to a user is tied to a user record. Builder has your whole user authentication system built right in. And so your user table takes care of all of that for you. The other collection you'll see in every single Builder collection is called Record Association. This data collection is the permissions of a user to access a specific set of records. If I were to create an account and I create a bunch of my own data inside of your Builder project as your end user, and I wanted to add a team member who could maybe access my data I would use record association to give access to a new team member on my team, the specific data records I want them to have inside of my account. Let's create our own new custom collection. We'll just hit add collection. We'll call this company. Now I create a new collection. 